How's it going everyone? It's me Noah here and welcome back to another review here on the channel, this time reviewing the modified 501st Clone Trooper with 332nd Helmet from Clone Army Customs. Now before we get into this video, I do want to give a huge thanks to Tyler from Clone Army Customs for letting me do this review here on my channel. You can of course check out Clone Army Customs by clicking the link in the description. And of course, if you're interested in this minifigure, buy it from their website. And yeah, so diving into this minifigure, I do want to give a little bit of backstory to this figure because of its importance in the upcoming uh, episodes that will be releasing from the Clone Wars. Now, the 501st that was now modified with, three, with the 332nd helmet is also known as basically Ahsoka's Legion, Ahsoka Tano, of course, being the Padawan to Anakin Skywalker in the Clone Wars series. And the backstory, of course, to this helmet being on the 501st is while serving with Ahsoka Tano during the Battle of Mandalore, some of the 501st, or rather a detachment of the 501st, uh, decided to take their helmets and modify them with her colors. Now, with that out of the way, we can dive into this minifigure and I can grab it right here and basically show you guys just this marvelous printing that Clone Army Customs, of course, always does with their minifigures. Uh, this is a regular. 501st grunt torso and legs and something that, that is different now with the clone army customs minifigures is they do some really cool under the arm printing they also do around the legs now printing also showing the uh, boots that you can see here on the front as well as the back printing that is also right there now the rest of the printing is very usual for clone army customs they always do a really good job with their figures and now moving on to basically the highlight of the figure, which is the helmets, or the helmet here on this minifigure, which is basically the 332nd helmet, just regular helmet, uh, put onto this 501st body and legs. For this review, I decided to go along with a DC-15 rifle from Brick Arms, which goes along really nicely with this minifigure. And, you know, just standing up right here, of course, makes it just look really 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 cool and that of course does it guys for this review i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did then don't forget to of course leave a like comment down below what your thoughts are on this minifigure don't forget to of course check out clone army customs on their website and if you're interested in getting this figure i would highly recommend getting this one if you have watched this far then i'm also going to let you guys know that this figure as well as the ones in the back and others will be in my upcoming lego star wars mock which will be revealed at Brick Fair, Virginia this year. If you guys are going to the event, then you guys will be able to see the unveiling of my latest mock. And I hope you guys, of course, enjoy the videos that are to come on that specific mock. That's all guys for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next LEGO Star Wars video.